The human being is a creature who can do the most noble actions, but also the most evil acts. Recently psychologists have proven that we are all born with the sense of good and evil. Although we previously thought it was acquired through education. So it has been proven that we all have this sense since our birth. But despite this, some of us consciously or unconsciously decide to do things that we know are wrong. And sometimes all we need is a little push to lose control and do things we will regret for the rest of our lives and maybe even after that. Islam teaches us that we are always responsible for our actions. The decision is always ours. But we can be influenced by beings who know how to incite us in a sneaky way and can use our weaknesses at the right time to incite us to do things that we know are wrong or against religion. There are several verses where this is said and especially in Surah Kaf. Kala karinnuhu rabbana ma atakaituhu walakin kana fidala lin ba'id. One's devilish associate will say, O oh Lord, I did not make them transgress, rather they were far astray on their own. The Quran therefore teaches us that these jinns can influence us, and through several hadiths the Prophet informs us that there are different kinds of jinn, and every human being has a jinn assigned to him since the day of his birth and until the day of his death. And this jinn is called the Kerin. Al Kerin literally means the constant companion. Each of us has a jinn that is associated. And even the Prophet had one, as we can see in this hadith. It is narrated by Abdullah ibn Masud. He is one of the companions of the Prophet, who converted at the beginning of Islam. The Prophet said, each one of you has a devil companion from the jinn over him. And then the companion said, even you, O Messenger of Allah. And then the Prophet said, even me. Yet Allah helped me against him until he embraced Islam and he does not order me to do anything but good. This jinn, who has been attached to us since our birth, he knows everything about us, our strengths and our weaknesses, and he therefore knows perfectly well how to make us lose control. But we know we must comply with religion to weaken or caring. There are many hadiths that tell us about the Kareen. Hadith Sahih, narrated by close companions, but also by the wives of the Prophet. And what we must remember from these Hadiths is that we can weaken them if we have faith, but also simple things like saying Bismillah before eating, drinking, or entering a house. We also know that different Kareen can communicate with each other. And we know that it is with the Kareen that clairvoyants know private information about the people who consult them. But these clairvoyants are not aware of this, because they think that they see or feel things. But it is with the interaction between the Kareen that they can know these things. It should be remembered that clairvoyants are very often mistaken in predicting the future, because the future is known only by God, but they can often be right about past events. 
even about private facts that we think we are the only ones to know. On this subject, there is an interesting story which proves that telepathy is possible through the connection of the carrying of two persons. This story takes place during the Umayyad reign. A man accused of witchcraft was questioned by al hajjaj ben Yusuf. He was governor of Iraq and he said to him, are you a wizard? The man says no. So al hajjaj takes a handful of pebbles and counts them. And then he says to him, how many pebbles do I have in my hand? The man gave him the exact number. So al hajjaj takes another handful without counting it and says to him, how many pebbles are there? The man replied, I don't know. So al hajjaj asked him, how did you manage to know the first time? And the second time you did not succeed. The man replied, the first time your caring told my caring, but the second time your caring didn't know. I know that many people won't believe these stories and explanations. Many Muslims will also be reluctant to believe this. But yet, this is explained in the Quran, as well as several hadiths. And that's the only possible explanation that can explain things like telepathy or what clairvoyants can know about the people who consult them. May God guide us and allow us to strengthen our faith, to weaken this being who is attached to us.